Hi guys, welcome to the episode. Today's uh, one is going to be a little bit different uh, than the massive one I uh, created last week, which was, I think was about 34 minutes. And I think uh, in hindsight, in my haste to get it out, I should have uh, edited it down a bit more and uh, made it a bit more polished. But uh, I'm, I think the people who were waiting for it may have found it helpful. Well, I hope so anyway. Uh, but this one's uh, a bit different because I just thought I would uh, vlog about my daily routine in the weekend. Well, my daily morning routine. And that usually involves getting up pretty early and just going to the beach. And today I was looking to photograph uh, photograph beach wildlife and uh, so what I did was uh, a couple of days ago I did a little scouting uh, session just to see what was around at this time of year uh, on the beach and I discovered that these tiny little wading birds uh, were around and I think they're called sandaling uh, and they you could get really close to them so I thought Maybe I'll take my 70 to 200 lens and just try and photograph them. But then again, I thought if I lie down on the sand, I'll have a steady platform so I can use my 400 millimeter lens and just get a little bit tighter on them. So today the aim was to just go to the beach with my 400 millimeter and photograph them. So I walked along the beach, it's about one degree and it's a freezing north wind blowing. So I think with the wind chill, it's uh, below zero. And I thought the sandalings, which migrate from Scandinavia, uh, they're impervious to the cold of the Netherlands because I think they're used to much more uh, cold weather. Anyway, I didn't really see them. And uh, after about half an hour of walking, I came across a group of um, oyster catchers and I think they're called red-billed oyster catchers or Eurasian oyster catchers. And I managed to lie down on the sand and luck uh, was with me because a dog was coming from my left and kind of drove the oyster catchers closer towards me. And I also got some uh, birds in flight shots of the oyster catchers. So I was really happy about that. So I thought, I hadn't seen any sandalings. I'll call it a day. And I began to uh, walk back uh, to the car. Well, to where my car was parked. Uh, but on the way, I saw a crow eating a starfish. I think it was a crow or a raven. <coughs> I'm not really good with corvids. Um, I know the Australian ones, uh, but the ones over here confuse me a bit. But I think this was a, a crow. And he was doing a couple of interesting things. Firstly, he was uh, eating this starfish that was on a rock. And secondly, he was um, sort of crawling at all these dogs walking past. So I managed to get some nice shots, I think, of him eating this starfish and also uh, squawking a bit. So that was uh, a nice uh, surprise. I walked on a little bit with the hope that I would find these uh, sandalings and just when I was about to give up, uh, one skipped on the sand in front of me so I immediately dropped to the sand and got completely soaked but I loved it and uh, started shooting uh, this sandaling and its partner or mate. Um, unfortunately I must have, I was using gloves and I must have clicked the uh, setting for aperture. Uh, I was in manual, I was thought I was shooting at 6.3 at a thousandth of a second with automatic ISO, uh, but it turned out I was shooting at 7.1, which raised my ISO by double. So instead of uh, shooting at ISO 500, like I had planned, I was shooting at 800 to 1250. So there's a bit more noise in those shots, so I'm going to have to uh, deal with the noise. But I was really happy with the photos of the sandlings. He was skipping across the sand and finding little rocks to turn over and then picking at um, life underneath the rocks. 
And then they went into the rocks as well and started picking at uh, little shellfish like tiny um, mussels and things. So I was really happy with the images I captured of those. And then as I was making my way back up the beach to the car, uh, I saw a group of uh, free uh, cold water swimmers. And I'm currently writing a Medium article about the benefits and people who do cold water swimming or cold water dipping and uh, why they do it, what, what benefits it has to the body. So I was able to also take some nice photos of these guys um, jumping in the water. I'll show you a couple here, but not of their faces uh, because they've only agreed to appear in the article, not on my vlog. I'm, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't mind. Um, yeah, so it was a really great morning on the beach. I got all of the wildlife that I aimed to get and more. And I also picked up uh, some photos for my Medium article that I'm writing. I'm a freelance uh, writer as well uh, when I have the energy for it. Uh, and always those articles need photos. Uh, so I got some photos for that as well. And because I write for, uh, well, I want to write this Medium article, uh, the aim is just to get some extra income on top of uh, my stock photography uh, and other income streams. So anyway, guys, that was uh, just a brief story about my morning routine in the weekend. I hope your weekend is going well. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode in a couple of days. Uh, the next episode will be about my uh, monthly earnings in stock photography and videography for the month of January. So look out for that in a couple of days, and I'll see you then. Have a good one. Bye.